Good evening, guys. I uh, hope we all have had a uh, good weekend. And um, yes, it's uh, turning a bit chilly in Durban. Yes, it does get cold in Durban for all those who um, stay in Joburg. They say that we don't get cold here in Durban. It does get a bit fresh. I'm not cold, but a little bit fresh than normal. Um, and guys, tonight I just want to share something. Um, I was actually reading uh, the book of Exodus um, uh, the other night and um, I got on to, to, to the story about Moses um, where God has now t- chooses Moses or tells Moses that he needs to go and um, deliver the people of Israel. Alright, so we'll pick it up in uh, Exodus 3, verse 11, just to do verse 11, and then I'm going to go on to verse uh, 13, and then we'll just discuss it a little bit, just for a few minutes. Um, yeah, so I just feel strongly that um, hopefully it'll, it'll help someone, or, or, or you know. So here we go. So Exodus 3, uh, starting from verse 11. Now remember I told you that, that um, through the whole thing is Moses in the burning bush um, where he's having a conversation with God and God is telling him, like, listen, you need to go and save my people. All right? So we pick it up in verse 11. But Moses said to God, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and that I should bring the children of Israel out of Egypt? And so, so God says after that, verse 12, says, So he said, I will certainly be with you, and this shall be a sign to you that I have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall serve God on this mountain. And then, we, then Moses again, in verse 13, says, But then Moses said to God, Indeed, when I come up to the children of Israel and say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they say to me, what is his name? What shall I say to him? And God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, thus you shall say to the children of Israel, I am has sent me to you. So, I just want to just discuss that, you know, with this now, Moses um, has been has been told by God to to like save to to to, to go and save um, the children the, the people of Israel his his chosen people he's heard their, he's heard their crying um, and now or heard their cries and now he wants to go and save them so he uses Moses to to go and save his people so but he was literally arguing with God that he is not the right person for the job and uh, like he's telling God like listen buddy you've like chosen the wrong person yeah I'm not qualified to do this and he's not qualified to stand before the king of Egypt um, and I want to I want to ask how many times have we been like Moses where God has told us to do something for our good, for someone else's good, or whatever whatever the case is. And we've actually told God, like, listen, we've wrestled with him and said, but I'm not qualified enough. I, I can't go and talk to that person. I can't I can't I can't um I can't go and and, 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 and pray for healing over that person. I can't do this, I can't do that. And we go back to the story, and God didn't disqualify Moses. Moses disqualified Moses. Moses said to God, I cannot do this. Please send somebody else. And he actually, if you read, if you read a little bit further down, um, he actually, actually gets cross with Moses. Um, and... We'll just, I'll just read a little bit further down uh, in, in Exodus 4 verse 10. The, the, the whole conversation has gone in back and forth between him and God. 
and like I said, God is actually getting cross with Moses. Um, you'll see as I, as, I, as, I, as I continue to read. Then Moses said to the Lord, "O oh my Lord, I am not eloquent, and I am not eloquent neither before nor since you have spoken to your servant, but I am slow of speech and slow of tongue." So listen now. This is what God says to Moses. So the Lord said to him, Who has made man's mouth? Or who makes the mute, the deaf, the seen, or the blind? Have not I, the Lord? Then it picks up in third, verse 13 and says, But he said, O my Lord, please send by the hand of whomever else you may send. So the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses. So he gets, he gets angry with, with Moses because he keeps saying, I'm not, I'm, not, I, I'm not the man for the job. And how many times have we done that? We have told God, listen, can you please send somebody else? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not ready for this. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not qualified for this. Look, if God says we need to do it, we need to do it. Because God has put his, 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 his faith in us that we are ready and that we are equipped to do what he says because on the same token because God remember God nowhere in this book nowhere in the Bible does God ever disqualify man that we cannot do his works he's always asked the right people because he knows there are the right people we might not know, but he knows. And if God knows that we're the right person, then trust. We need to trust him. We need to trust God, all right, and um, to do the works of God, because we, we 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 sometimes forget who we have inside of us. We have Jesus and the Holy Spirit inside of us. We have their power. They have given it to us once we were when we were saved. We're saved by faith, through grace by faith. The Holy Spirit fills us. We've got the power of the Holy Spirit inside of us. And if that's not enough to say that we are qualified, then I don't know what is. No man can disqualify, uh, listen, no man can disqualify what God has in store for our lives. No man can disqualify us on the journey that God wants us to take. So we disqualify ourselves. And it's it's you know, He's given us the strength, He's given us the power. We're just not exercising it. We're just not, we're just not, not, not exercising, yeah, should I say exercising it? Because there's power of healing in us. There's power of, of, of whatever it is. It's taking the word to the next person. There's power in us. Although, like, like, like Moses says, I, I can't talk. I, I, I'm slow at speech. But God has given us He'll never give us something to do that he doesn't think that we are capable of doing. Okay. Um, I hope I'm making sense. It sounds sound, sounds a lot better on paper and in my head. So I really hope I'm getting the message across. Um, so I want to jump through to the New Testament. I want to look at Matthew 19, verse 26. All right. Um, and it's. If with, with, it's, it's, it's with, with God, all things are possible. Uh, it goes on, in, in, I'll just quickly jump down to verse 26. But Jesus looked at them and said to them, With men, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. So in man, in us, by ourselves, as humans, in our strength, in our own strength, Things are impossible. But in God's strength, with God's strength, with Jesus' power, with, with the Holy Spirit inside of us, all things, hear me? All things are possible. 
Uh, he doesn't say some things. All things are possible in his strength. So, like I asked earlier, do you, do you honestly think that God will give us something to do without being able, without giving us the tools, or the the power, or the or the knowledge, or whatever to do? All right. He will never do it. He'll never he'll never just say, "Well, here we go. Off you go. Go and do that quickly. I'll see you later." He never do that. He will be with us. The problem. The, the problem I think we have in obeying or and and exercising the power we have through Christ is the is the, is that we overthink things. Our mind it holds us back a lot of the time to 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 exercise what God has given us to exercise what Jesus has filled us with. We, 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 I think, have a fear of failure. We have a fear of resentment. We have a fear of, oh, excuse me, we have a fear of rejection. It's all, it's all normal. It's all normal reactions. But that is not of God. God will not give us something to scare us. God will not give us something to 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 feel failure he'll he'll give us something to do within our within our ability to do it and even though you you feel scared even though, though you feel anxious you feel like listen i could fail no you can't fail you won't fail because god is in you god has given you the power to perform the task that that feeling of failure, that feeling of fear, that feeling of rejection, whatever else, does not come from God. It comes from the devil. He comes and says, do you honestly think you can do that? He starts putting doubt in our ability that, remember, God created us. The devil didn't create us. God created us. So God knows us. He even knows He knows how much hair is on my head right now. He knows exactly how many hairs. Because He created me. He knows my ability. He knows my strength. He knows my weakness. We work on He works with us on our weaknesses. That's when He is that's where that's where He comes up. In our weakness. He is He He is more powerful than our weakness. Because his name gets glorified when we become strong. So who is the devil to tell me I cannot do it? He's a liar. He wants you to 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 think that way. Because then we're not gonna obey God, we're not gonna walk in the fullness that that God has in store for us. We're not going to exercise that power. We're gonna to be too scared to pray for healing for that person. We're gonna to be too scared to 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 pray pray for people and 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 spread the word and 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 that that kind of thing and and being you know like we're gonna be too scared because the devil's the devil's gonna come and say hey you can't do it but guess what I can do it because the power of God is in me isn't that amazing isn't it? okay wait I'm just gonna quickly read one more scripture I hope I'm I hope I'm not too long um. And we'll we're gonna we go to Matthew twenty eight, verse eighteen verse eighteen to twenty. Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, "All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you." And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of age. Amen. You see, Jesus got the Jesus got the authority when he was risen from the dead. He had been given all authority in heaven and on earth, and he told us, "Listen, we need to go." He's not going to be around all the time. 
So we need to go and make disciples of all nations. He is giving us his power to be able to go and do what he has told us to do. To go and be make disciples and spread the gospel and spread the word and pray for the sick and heal the sick and, and that kind of thing. And he has told us there. What did he tell us? He didn't tell us like, listen, okay, off you go. Cheers. Uh, have fun. Come back and tell me how many disciples you made. And I'll tell you if you're successful or not. No, he didn't say that. He said he'll be with you always. Till the end of age. So if I go out now and I go and make disciples of all nations. And I come back 30 years later. From traveling the world or whatever the case is. Trying to make this, try, making, spreading the gospel and making disciples of all nations. As he has told, as he has instructed us to do. I can do it boldly because Jesus will be with me. His power and the Holy Spirit will be with me to the end of age. Until I die. The power of God, the power of Jesus, the power of the Holy Spirit is in me, is in you. So stop thinking, I am not qualified. We need to stop thinking that way because we are qualified. Our Father in heaven, the creator of heaven and earth, the creator of man, has told me I am qualified. When he sent his son to die for me on the cross and I got and I was saved, he told me, now you are qualified. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Don't let man tell you because you know what? You need to guard, we need to guard our minds because that's where it starts. It starts in our mind because we're too quick to, to start overthinking things. Oh, forget what happened. What 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 what's it what 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 would what, what we need to do? We need to stop overthinking. We need to guard our hearts. We need to guard our minds against the enemy, because the enemy wants us to overthink. Because then we're not going to walk in the power. But with power comes great responsibility. I wouldn't say, no, that's, that's actually the wrong, that's actually the wrong, that's actually the wrong phrase. I don't like that phrase. We need to really start believing that what's inside of me, inside of you, is powerful. And we can come humbly, we, although, we, but remember, you've got to stay humble. Because the minute it becomes about you praying for the sick, you doing, then we're going down a whole new different ball game. You've got to stay focused and you've got to give all glory to God because that's where it is. That's where it is. Because this person got healed, it, it's not the power of Quentin, it's the power of God. Because this person, this person, I, I led this person to get saved. I didn't lead him. God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit led him to be saved. I planted the seed and Jesus did what he needed to do to get him saved. But I planted the seed through, through, the, through, through the power of God. That seed was planted. He gave me the right words, the right person and everything. So although the power is in us, when it, when it starts becoming about me and what I did, we've got a problem. It's not about us, but it's about God and the power that He has given us when, he, when Jesus died for us on that cross. So guys, have a good evening. You can catch me on my YouTube channel. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Um, if you like this message, 
um, feel free to comment on my other video I've got some other messages up on my YouTube channel um, yeah so have a good evening and it's uh, it's Monday tomorrow worst day of the week but anyway have a blessed week love you guys cheers bye